Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I would like to continue subtopic 1.3 Pattern and Sequences Part 2 which is Learning Standard 1.3.2 and 1.3.3. .3. For the students that first joining my class today, don't forget to like and subscribe my video. Let's start our class. Let's have a look on the Learning Standard 1.3.2 Determine specific terms of a sequence. 1.3.3 Solve problems involving sequences. Let me show you how we determine specific terms of a sequence. 1.3.2 Terms of sequence. The term in a number sequence is written as the T and the T, the capital T, is the term. And the small letter N is the positions of the N term. Okay, so this is a T, capital T, term. And the small letter N is the positions of term. Okay, let us see the example. Okay, this is a sequence. Okay, how we determine the terms of sequence. Okay, so the first number, okay, A is the term 1. Okay, then the second term is 17. Okay. And the third term is 26, fourth term is 35, and the fifth term is 44. This is how we write out the terms of sequence. Let's have a look at the example after the introduction just now. So the example is state the fifth term for the following number sequence. Okay, so this is the given sequence. If we need to state the fifth term for the sequence, we need to first thing determine the patterns. Okay, so we need to determine the pattern in order for us to determine the first term. Okay, so what is the pattern for this sequence? From 6, 12, 18 and 24, we notice that the sequence is increasing order. Okay, so Either that is additions or that is multiplications. Okay, so we can try it out. Okay, so how to get 6 become 12? Okay, to get to make the 6 become 12, number 6 become 12. Okay, we can plus 6. Okay, so we check it out for the uh, consecutive terms, whether the patterns is the same or not. Okay, if 12 plus 6, is it start, uh, equal to 18? Yes, equal to 18. Okay, and 18 plus 6, so equal to 24. So we can identify the pattern is at 6 to the previous number. After we identify the patterns, therefore we can calculate or determine the fifth term. Okay, to identify the fifth term, we have to add 6 to the previous number. This is the fourth term. Okay, so to get the fifth term, we get 24 plus 6, which is equal to 30. Okay, so we managed to state the fifth term for this sequence. Okay, let's see another example. Okay, which is 84, 74 and 64. Okay, so first thing, determine the pattern. Okay. So what is the pattern? This is in decreasing order. Okay. So either it's minus or divide. Okay. As we can see, it's 84 become 74. So it's minus 10. Okay. So the pattern is subtract n from the previous number. Okay. So the question is take the fifth term. This is the first term, second term. And the third term. Okay, so after the third term is the fourth term. To get the fourth term is subtract 10. So the fourth term subtract 10, which is 
54. From 54, we need to subtract 10 again, which is the term 5, okay? Which is, the answer is equal to 44, okay? So we want to list out the terms in order for us to state the fifth term. Let's look for other examples. Okay, another example, state the sixth term for the following number sequence. This is the given sequence, 4 of 36, 108, and 324. Okay, first step, we need to identify or determine the patterns of the sequence. Okay, what is the pattern of this sequence? As we can see, from 4 to 12, to 36 is in increasing order, okay? So therefore, we get try out 4 multiplied by 3, we can get 12, right? Okay, so we try out for the consecutive term, we manage to get 36 or not, if we multiply the 12 by 3, okay? So 12 multiplied by 3, yes, we can get 36, then continue by another number, 36 multiplied by 3, yes, we can get 108. Then 108 multiplied by 3, yes, we can get 324. So how about the sixth term? Okay, this is the first term, first, second, third, fourth, fifth. Okay, so to determine the sixth term, same thing. We have to use the previous number, then multiply by 3. So 324 multiplied by 3, we can get term 6, which is 972. Okay, another example, okay, given the sequence, 256, 128, 64, 32, and 16. This is in decreasing order. Okay, so to get the patterns, we can notice this is divided by 2. Okay, so this is divided by 2, the pattern. Therefore, to get the sixth term, this is 1, first, second, third, fourth, fifth. So to determine the sixth term, we take the previous number divided by 2. Okay, 16 divided by 2, our sixth term is 8. This is how we Determine the terms of sequence by identifying the patterns. Then after that, we list down all the terms. One more example. Given the number sequence 9, 17, 25, and 33. Okay, so we need to determine the sixth term of the number sequence. Okay, so this is term 1, term 2, term 3, term 4. Okay, so in order for us to get the sixth term, we still need to list out the term 5 in order for us to get the term 6. Before identifying the term 6, we need to determine the pattern of the sequence. So what is the pattern of the sequence? From 9 to 17 to 25 is in increasing order. Okay, so the pattern we can see which is plus Okay, 9 plus 8, 17. 17 plus 8, which is 25. 25 plus 8 is equal to 33. So to get the fifth term, we need to use the 33 plus 8. So we can get 41. To determine the sixth term, we use the 41 plus 8. So our term 6 or the sixth term is equal to 49. Next, let's do assessment for learning for the learning standard 1.3.2, which is determine the terms of sequence. If you understand, thumbs up. If you feel so-so, thumbs horizontal. If you feel really not understand, means thumbs down. Okay, so for the students that thumbs horizontal or thumbs down, Please rewatch back the video. After assessment for learning, let us continue for the next learning standard, which is 1.3.3 solving.
problem. Okay, so this is the given problem. The diagram shows four squares from a sequence with different length with a certain pattern. Calculate the area of x square in the sequence. To solve problems, we need to follow the three basic steps. So what is the three basic steps? Please follow the three basic steps, which is give, ask, and count. Okay, so what is the means, uh, meanings of give? Okay, give means that what is the information give in the questions? Okay, so the information that we have on the question is length of four squares in a pattern. Okay, so what is the question asked for? The question asked to calculate the area of the egg square. So in order for us to calculate the area of the x square, so we must count the length of the x square. Only we can find the area of the x square. So we have to identify what is the information given from the questions, what is the questions asked about, and lastly, only we have to count it out. Okay, so let us continue the calculations in the next slide. To calculate the area of x square in this sequence, we have to determine the pattern of this sequence. So the pattern of this sequence is plus two. Okay. So what is the uh, what is the width or what is the length for the x square? Okay. We can find the length of the x square by substituting into the tn, which is equal to two n. How we get the two n? Because because we can see the pattern, which is plus two. Okay. So when we plus two, this is our first square. 2 times 1, okay, the first square, the term 1, okay, when term 1, 2 times 1, we get 2, okay, when term 2, we get, use the, uh, substitute the n with 2, to 2 times 2, which is equal to 4, then we can form the general patterns or general patterns by using these algebraic expressions, okay, so when we need to find the length for the 8 term, means that we need to substitute the n by 8, okay, which is 2 times 8, which is 16, okay, so means that the length for the x square is equal to 16, okay, after we get the length of the x square, now we can calculate the area of the x square. What is the formula to calculate the area? The formula to calculate the area is the length times the width. Okay, since this is a square, right? The length and the width is the same. Okay, so the area of the x square is equal to 16 uh, multiplied by 16. Okay, the answer which is equal to 256. Let's have a look on the another example. Okay, the temperature of a liquid at 8 am, okay, is negative 3 degree Celsius. The rate of change of temperature of the liquid is the same. With each interval of 3 minutes increase about 3 degree Celsius. Okay, so build a pattern for the temperature from 8 am to 8.15 a.m. Okay, so we have to follow the basic three step. Give, okay, so what is the information that give in the problems? Okay, so that is the given begin time and the begin temperature. Okay, and is given rate of change, which is 3 degrees Celsius in 3 minutes. Okay, so the question asks for what? The question asks for build pattern from 8 a.m. to 15 a.m. Okay, so we need to count, okay, we need to count the temperature every 3 minutes until 15 minutes. This is how we need to solve these problems. Let us see the solutions in the next slide. Let's answer the question. 
the initial temperature is negative 3. Okay, the rate of change of temperature is 3 degrees Celsius in every 3 minutes. So, the next one or the next temperature is plus 3, okay, which is 0 degrees Celsius. Okay, then followed by 3 degrees Celsius, then 6 degrees Celsius, 9 degrees Celsius, and continues with 12 degrees Celsius. Okay, so the first one, negative 3 degrees Celsius, start at 8 o'clock, which is 8 a.m. Okay, so the next one is 3 minutes. Okay, the interval is 3 minutes every 3 degrees Celsius. So the next time will be 8.03. Okay, and so the next time will be 8.06 for the 3 degrees Celsius. Okay, for the 6 degrees Celsius, there will be 8. Oh, 09 okay so the next one will be 12 okay so the the last one 12 degrees celsius which is the 15 am okay the question asks us to build a pattern for the temperature from 8 to 8 15 am therefore the patterns for the temperature from 8 to 8 15 am is negative 3 0 3, 6, 9, and 12. Assess for learning again, okay, after the subtopic 1.3.3, which is solving problems, okay? So remember, to solve problems, we have to follow the three basic steps, which is give, ask, and count, okay? So show your thumbs. If you understand, thumbs up, okay? So, so or not understand okay you can always rewind back the video to the part that you could not understand and rewatch back the video before ended my class i would like to ask all the students who watch the video to rate themselves from one to five okay this is called fist to five activity okay Rate yourself from 1 to 5, okay? See, where are you now, okay? If 1 means that you need help, 2, I need more practice, 3, I'm almost there, 4, I got it, 5, I am confident. Please rate yourself about the content that you have learned just now. Thank you for watching my video. Please like and subscribe my video. Stay tuned for the next video. Bye. See you soon.